What is happening, Patreon family? Welcome back to another episode of the bonus material. So, me and Tyrone are meeting Kraher from Belfast Documents Tours. And we're going to be doing a wee Guinness tour, going around three different bars in the city centre. Getting a bit of history, getting a bit of Guinness, you seeing know, what's up. Sucking on the sweet nectar <laughs> that is Uncle Arthur's Guinness. <laughs> so, uh, first, go ahead. Hold on, along the way as well, we'll be asking the public where is their favourite bar in Belfast. So. We'll see, we'll see what wins. Yeah. So we already know what Tyrone's is, and that's going to be the first stop, which is the one and only Biddle's Bar. The Flatiron building, as some people would know it. Yeah, I <laughs> the wee bar <laughs> Well, let's go yep. and meet. Come on. So here we are, folks, at the first bar on the Guinness tour. Graher of Documents Belfast is an expert on all these bars right here. I'm not saying he's not alcoholic, <laughs> but he knows a lot about the bars. So That's why I don't drink on the tours. I'm an expert of bubbles. This is my my uh, stomping ground. Best, well, in my opinion, best Guinness in the area. It's fighting words like. But listen, <laughs> oh, it's up. It's it's. Is it not um, got the highest in the city? So it's, it does the Guinness curry things over there. Like so, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. a Dara like said it was the best in the city. I would agree. It's definitely it's even upper. up there with I, me. I mean, like you know. I mean, Sharing the other rooftops, <coughs> but this is the best Guinness in the last load of years. But Fanny's getting the recognition it deserves. It actually does a Guinness thing in here, where it's just, just Guinness. Bar. Yep. I love it. Just That's for why. our souls like us, like yeah. <laughs> all our Guinness wankers. But, uh, what we're going to do is start off the day. It's it's a uh, well, near near 12 now. <laughs> for, for, our, for, for our first paint of Guinness. We're going to do split the G. That's who, who's right. the boss is. Right. Right. Cheers, lads. Sancho. <laughs> right, let's see. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Close, like. Way over. Oh, man. <laughs> Three bikes. I think you're the worst. <laughs> It's country, it's, he practices every day. Oh, no. You're right on. That's right on, isn't it? Look at that. Uh, yeah. Look, see. Right on, right? <laughs> like the That's one. <laughs> this man should be getting his tours every day. If you're called, if you're the Guinness tour leader, you have to be hitting split the genie. Don't even, don't even drink on the tours. Uh, I, I can't though. Like, like, uh, if I was four pints deep on the tour, I'd like, just be trying to shout. Like, you know. Uh, you can get two or four, so uh, you get a half Guinness tour and you get a full Guinness tour. Um, so it's basically a full history tour, and we go to either two bars or four bars and you get a pint of Guinness and so, so it's good. So if I was on three or four pints, like that time of day. Guinness is one I'm interested in. You hit four, yep. that's it. Uh, I don't care about it. Two percent, these words say a cup works five percent. Uh, and they, it's your time to say that I drink Coverberg. Yeah, <laughs> you don't drink Coverberg. Do you drink Coverberg? Is that your main one, is it? No, but like when you're we need to mix it up. Ah. This is gonna be well, what I'm trying to say is Coverberg. I can drink that all day and ah. not be drunk. Yeah. But I have is this four percent? It's four and a bit. Yeah. Four and a bit. Like four point four. Five and I'm drunk. Yeah, hundred percent. So I don't believe in sanities. I just believe shit gets drunk. I don't care. Listen, we're doing a tour today with with. Connor, as we said, the Guinness Tours. Um, so, who are you laughing? I can't sit <laughs> So, my mate to work, right? I've Crar. started slagging me Crar. about this. Crar. My mum and dad picked my name. So, my name, if you don't know, is, it's C O N C H U. That's okay. the first name I've ever heard of. So, it's essentially um, it's Crawher in Irish, okay? Which means lover of hounds. Okay. I do like dogs as well, so. Yeah. Um, you know, big dog man. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <Irish> <laughs> Favorite dog? Like, so, you know, and that probably was the dog of the past, like it was a war dog, like, you know, in that sort of sense, and the hunting one, like, but, um, so my mates at work always slag me because my mum and dad just call me Connor, like, because they picked yeah. my, they picked my so name. Picked the name. <laughs> well, I, I know, but like, it was like in the big book of Irish names or something like that, you know what I mean? So, so, so they, they, they don't know how to pronounce it. You're called Connor, And I didn't, I, I didn't even know what my pronunciation was until P2. My teacher is an um, Irish language speaker. She was like, Why are you saying Connor? Like, you know, it's, it's. But she said it in the Southern Irish way. So she said, It's Cruhur. And I was like, Cruhur? What? <laughs> you know, it's weird that the pronunciation for yeah. Irish name is different. Oh, I. Yeah. My yeah. cousin's called Kiva. But Kiva. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was my head. Kiva as well. Kiva. Kiva. Yeah, Kiva. 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 Where did the W come in? That doesn't uh, Because we're the poor cousins up north. Like, so What's we're like a bit rougher on the election. He just, his first two years. 
fucking primary school. We call it uh, the rules. He's fucking. Where is this crap? He's never fucking. <laughs> I know. <He's> never <laughs> they didn't do it in school. All my mates call me Conch. So, <laughs> like a seashell. Like they like, just call me Conch, yeah, that's fine. Conch is taking us on a tour. It's because he can't talk. <laughs> Go on the Martins and then we're going to Kelly's. So two very historic bars. What's the history of this bar? Um so the building as you've seen you've seen outside, like I mean I don't know if magic of editing, like you'll see the outside later on or something like that or before, like but um it's sort of a flat iron shape. So you have you both been to New York? Have you been to New York? Have you been before? You've seen the flat iron building there? Yeah. Okay, the big like uh, corner one. So um that's that was the that's the bigger brother, okay, but it's also the younger brother of this one. So this is built in eighteen. Yeah, in middle child, yeah. Uh, so really, the, <clears throat> the one in New York's huge. Yeah. It's not, it's not that big, it wouldn't be. We're do, so do it percentage wise by city size compared to this. So, like, yeah, you know, yeah, like, we're getting New York's big. Like, this is our skyscrapers. This is our skyscraper. <laughs> well, we've got the biggest building in Ireland over there. The Oval. Oval. Yeah. Which is sad, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> but th this is built in 1861, so originally it was called the Dolphin Bar, and it was called the Dolphin Bar because it was the maritime sort of history of the city and stuff. Yeah. Um, later on, it became the Shakespeare. Because a lot of actors and stuff used to drink in here, and then John, hey, hey, yeah, hey. you know, actor. Still, still actors. It's crazy wear a scarf and all that. Actually, a lot of people have fun <laughs> coming here as well. Did you hear about this? You heard about it on your yeah, like, this one, did you? I'm a regular. Uh, what happened to the fun? I, he came in, I think John was saying, and John will vouch for this. Did he say it in your podcast? No? He made it, um, of, uh, He came in like late 90s and he came in with like, his entourage. And Van Morrison, I'm not afraid of man's words, he's known to be a bit of a dickhead, yeah. yeah. So he came in with his wee entourage, I think it was a busy weekend day. And you see how busy it gets at this time in the morning, even like, you know, afternoon. Yeah. Um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he came in and goes, uh, I don't know if his manager or something said, you need to clear everybody out of the bar. I want to have a drink in here, John. And John told him to do one, like, you know, obviously, because... My, uh, waist, my and dad were on holiday. I forget where it was, they were on holiday, but they were on holiday on anyway. And the, the bar was empty. It was a big, big, massive, like, restaurant bar. Uh. And they were in the retable, just empty. All, all, all of them, four pieces empty, but I'm watching the dollar end. And I made a wee assistant go up and let me say, you need to leave. Uh, Bob Morrison was an empty room. He's like, what would you do? Oh, like, why did you need to clear a fucking bar? But that's, that's the thing, like, isn't it? Because, like, John said his reason was because my regulars are going to be here tomorrow and the next yeah, day, yeah, next day. Exactly. So why would I fuck them over, do you know what I mean? But yeah. he'll never be back. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. most people yeah. wouldn't bother you if they see you again. No. And I see some people say I wouldn't go near them. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Van Morrison coming on the podcast and telling his serious story. Yeah. 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 I'll be yeah. interesting. Get Van on the podcast <laughs> his, his You next. should give, get him, him on with, like, a COVID doctor or something. You don't have them, like, just jump off each other. I see that. Yeah. He did. <laughs> he did a big charity single with uh, Eric Clapton and all. Yeah. So he did like about that, like I say, charity loosely. Right, what else? Yeah. What's the... So, one of the biggest click, uh, clicks, <laughs> whiskey collections in the, in the city, okay. Um, also, you see a lot of the artwork around here. I see all the artwork. It's done by one man. Who is it? He's from the market. Um, it's called Joe Kane. So, if you look at that one, the back there, that's all the famous Irish writers. I think that's. Class, like. Wait, let, let's have so, a game, tell me. Uh, can name. Seven Irish. Yeah, yeah. Harry Shackles. Oh, it'd be hard to name Oscar seven when they're six, or mate. <laughs> Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde's yeah. behind the bar. Okay. Who is it? James uh, Joyce. James Joyce, yeah, I think he's one of the ones on the left. Can't remember if it's the end one or the second end there, like. I think that's me, Doug. That's you, Doug? Juggling me. John Gary. John Gary. John Gary. It does a bit, doesn't it? I think that's Brandon Bain. Oh, the pint. Brandon Bain. So there's a. That's what you meant. That's what you meant. Like, you know, um, Samuel Beckett, I think, to the right. Um, I can't remember the Beardy guy. He's very, very, very famous. So. And then. Probably Kate. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. But yeah. They ain't half of them, anyway. Like, I usually do get people to do that. I didn't see the, um, uh, this bar, but it's 
it's an honest with Guinness. Yeah. Will it be as much of a, a even though like there's whiskey everywhere? Will it be known as a whiskey bar where people come here to get whiskey? Or is it just pure? Oh, oh, I like they've got super, super rare, super expensive whiskeys too in here. Like I've seen on my tours, <coughs> just ordering around for people on the stand at the bar waiting to pay. And these two fellows came in from England and they went to the bar and they ordered two two drams of whiskey just. And then they came down to the bill and he goes, That's three hundred pounds there, lads. So they're paying like hundred and fifty each for a measure. So I don't, I don't know how anything can taste that that looks worth it. I don't give a I love Wayne. Yeah. See like a, a sixty pound bottle of wine or an eighty pound bottle of wine? Yeah. Tastes the same as a twenty pound bottle of wine. Aye. But like the lower ones do taste thinking. So once he wants to get the twenty pound black tar and all. all the same. I've never bought a bottle of wine more than seven pounds. Seven pounds. Fuck off, Tommy. Shut up. I believe that, you know. Fuck me, like but, uh, what are you buying? Lamb Lambrini? <laughs> Ross, I used to drink eight year away because he used to buy Bros and all the time. Is that why? For our carriage and like 17. Yeah. And we bought, I don't know why Bros and all, but I fucking hate it and I thought I hate away for the one that Bros and all. My wife and she hear me saying that's like I, I've met some other podcast and she cracked up with me. She used to drink black tar. Do you remember black tar? No. It was like three, probably three or four pounds a bottle. Like, you know, it was shite. More bang for your bottle. Buy 10 of them. Was a fancy ball, but uh, my man I used to drink blue nun, it was like a German one or something. Never got blue nun as well, black, black, probably black very cheap as well. Like, <coughs> black tar, blue nun, though, sounds a bit dodgy, ah. doesn't it? But no, the bar in general, like, it's got a big history to it, you know, as I said. Um, in the 80s and late 80s, John bought it over and it's been bills ever since. But, um, so the bar obviously. He was a bit mad, I think, because he opened up a bar beside the courts and the in police the head, and the police station troubles. in the head of the troubles. So he said, basically, like every other week, he would have got the windows blown in and everything else. You know, can you imagine just sitting here now having a pint, just the windows is blown in? Continue on your way. But but it was kind of like, have you ever seen John Wick before? Yeah. Never seen the Continental Hotel. Yeah. That's what I sort of describe it like to people. So in the eighties and nineties, even though it was during the troubles, it was kind of a safe space for everybody. Right, folks. So we're finished in the first bar, which was built, as you know, we're big fans ten of the place. Out of ten every time. Every time. So Crawher is gonna be giving us a wee bit of history throughout the city as we make our way around the where's the next point to call? Probably going around like Albert Park and all that. Yeah. Like, you know, and the next bar is gonna be Madden's. Next bar will be Madden's. So, yeah. so on the way to Madden's, Crawher is gonna tell us a wee bit about the city. So uh Crawher, what did you think of uh Biddles? Cracker is always like one of my favorite bars. What, what is your favorite bar, Belfast? Oh what? Jesus! Let me put you on the spot here. If, oh, it was, if it was going for music and all, all right, probably Madden's. Like, and Madden's is one Madden's of my top it, two paints as well. Madden's is. Um, it does a great paint, and it does have the live music popping every time. If I'm going for conversation and a pint of Guinness, Bills. Mm. I and think then, Bills is a great place to bring your girlfriend or yeah. your wife. I always, if there's a wee date night, I'll me and her always go because it's. Yeah. it's Secluders so, never. Totally, Tony, you bring your girlfriend to build to bring your wife to Madden's. <laughs> <laughs> every episode, he's talking about his girlfriend. Every episode, every episode. But listen. Does she drink Guinness? <laughs> <laughs> the wife's also awesome, but the girlfriend never loves it. Listen, I go to, I go to, it's a nice secluded bar. Like, it's, there's not most people in it, and there's never any trouble in Biddles. That's why I love it. Yeah. And John's a good friend. Yeah. Yeah. But let's go. Where so we're, uh, we're gonna go, get on foot, and crowd's gonna. Where we're going? Going towards the Albert Clark direction, you know. Oh. You should know that voice. Oh. <laughs> so here we are, folks, at the infamous Albert Clark. Infamous? Who is it, infamous? This is where you would have found the ladies of the net. Working, 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 Paperwork. <laughs> so crowd's gonna give us the real <laughs> history here. So what is significant the significance of the Albert Clark? Well I'm not a plumber, so like I'm not an expert like but um, can you hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so um, Albert Clark built in eighteen sixty nine, okay. Um, which is ironic. Uh, <laughs> so it is. Um, <laughs> um, Queen Victoria built this, okay, for her uh, dearly departed husband, okay? So he's on the front, that's uh, Prince Albert there. Also ironic, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, but um, so <laughs> she built memorials all over the place, okay, all over the UK and Ireland, okay, and she built this one in Belfast here. Um, decided that they would build it, build it um, beside a river that's flown under here called the River Farset, okay. 
terrible idea when you think about it, building on the banks of a river, and that's why you can see now they call it the Leaning Tower of Belfast because it's actually it tilted. Right. And it. What, did you sway the right or the right? <laughs> sway the left. Nice, nice left, the left, leaving. <laughs> so, so, so the old, the old wives' tale, right, was that because of obviously sex workers, ladies and I, uh, standing here and leaning on the tower, and that's why it that's actually bad. tilts it's over, soft. okay? <laughs> but um, the real reason is because there's marshland beside it, so it's actually oh, just sinking. Don't let the truth get in the... No. Good story, you know. I've see. actually been inside it, too. I've been inside oh, the yeah. yeah. Oh, I've actually been around here quite a lot, crowd. <laughs> Before the tour even started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you get inside it? No, you can There's like it. a wee door around the other side there. So there is. Around the back, around the back. <laughs> around the back, I would say. Oh, uh, what about much of that close? Uh, <laughs> Oh, we you have to hear the, the council. Oh. <laughs> right, let's get right, the next. The next right, clock if you're looking. If you're looking at a hole, get the But he didn't even know it tilted. Can you get a good view of that? Like all of you, all of yours out there. You can see how tilted that is. Thirty-four years, and I didn't know it. Do you know I was about to slabber tourists and go like? Here's so many people you hear from Belfast and all like it went to my tour. Just once boys from West Belfast went to my tour and like, I didn't even know what was leaning over. And I was like, come on. I don't think anyone in Belfast knows. Uh, we uh, also, uh, well, I knew I didn't know. We have to avoid yeah, this place because he was scooping around here. Your wife's divorcing you. <laughs> 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 I've never seen this. Well, they won't like the next place either then. Is, is, um, are the ladies still working or is it? I'm sure I would know, Tommy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait. So currently we are at McHugh's. Now McHugh's is a part of the Guinness tour, but it's part of the Belfast tour. So Carl, what is the significance of this? Sometimes they're part of it. <laughs> is it? Okay. <laughs> That's better what I said, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it's not, not today, yeah. It's not even opened it. Uh -huh. What's the significance of it? So it's actually the oldest building in Belfast. So this bit here behind us, um, the white bit there. Um, the extension is not, but this bit it was built in 1711. Cali Sellers not the oldest so, Belfast. That's a misconception. There's nine years difference, so Cali Sellers 1720, but Cali Sellers is the oldest bar in Belfast. Oh, bar. So this, is, oh, this, built. this wasn't always a bar. So initially, the first like nine or ten years of his life, apparently it was a residency, it was just someone's house. Okay. Nice, nice house, like. Um, and then it nice house, it? moved on to become like an inn, and then it moved on to be a bar, and then gradually, because of his prox proximity to like the lagging and sailors coming in and all, it became a brothel. That's oh, okay. Tell you what, if, if you're looking for some fucking sex, Carl, I'll get it for you. <laughs> if you're looking for some ass, Belfast is coming down with brothels back in the day, like you know. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Connor's tears is not Guinness tears no more. I did, it's brothels. I do joke, I speak a lot about it on the tours, but that just shows you how dirty you are in Belfast. Just, you know what I mean? Like, every, every significant thing every there's in Belfast. That's right, I used to be a brothel. <laughs> that was where it all stayed. Uh, the whole that's far. There used to be. Uh, <laughs> 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 the nation cheap friend there. Oh, but not not the stereotype sailors back in the day. Like, but uh, that that's the main reason. Ready, ready so I remember I was talking about the faucet. So the faucet hey, actually flows. Get in the sails. I love the boats. <laughs> So the, so the had used to run up the whole way up here, high stream, off, and the sailors used to murder ships up here. Hold on. Over river here? So the whole thing outside us here was river run, so run the river running around the wagon. Jumped jumped he jumped off the boat and into here. So obviously after a long voyage, six, seven, <laughs> eight months, you know. People had to leave. Uh, what, uh, but what do they want when they come off the ships? You know? I, I, I want dinner. I want something. Booze, accommodation, and women or men, you know. So like, uh, I want the pay station. Uh, uh, four <laughs> Can eight it months voyage to come in. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they were getting discounted. Because there's not much you can. Why? <laughs> Every single thing that comes up. Stamp card? Do you need this kind of. Frankie Cullen, the bus driver? And this, this is a sad one. <laughs> I had no idea Frankie Cullen was a fucking bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? But anyway, why do you want this kind of. Every single thing you go to? Because I love this kind of. Right. Next location then. Yes. Home. Excuse me. Oh, Where's the best Guinness in Belfast? Don't drink it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're missing it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No More race. for us, anyway. <laughs> it seems like, I swear to God, everyone we've asked is on some sobriety. Like, it's, Belfast love Guinness. I never asked him. Listen. Uh, don't you listen? I know. No! Hey, this listen. is a fucking. <laughs> my friend. Vacation. Come here. My friend in orange, orange coat. Tyrone, just fuck off. You 
fucking staring at me. Do you think you're gonna get this? Listen to me, why the fuck would I get an ADHD guy on to talk to the public? He's panicking. He has to fucking the crap. He has the oldest man in Belfast with his favorite bar. Fuck sake. Leave it to me. Well, I see, ladies, can we ask you a quick question? Are you Guinness drinkers? No. no. Where's the best bar in Belfast? Where's the best loads of bars in Belfast? What's your favourite? We're not drinkers. We don't drink. You've oh, spoken about it. We don't drink. I know. Imagine coming from Belfast. Bob, what's the best band in Belfast? <laughs> Belfast. Or in, in the north? Oh, Sleeve Donnard. Sleeve Donnard. Sleeve Donnard. Sleeve Donnard. Sleeve Donnard. Sleeve Donnard. No, Sleeve Donnard's Newcastle. Or the Radisson no, Road. Oh, all right. Yeah. Bar in Belfast. Best bar in Belfast. Don't know. Listen, Toronto, just take a back seat. Okay? Leave it to me. So, Toronto Mechanics, people skilled, zero. <laughs> Here we go. Excuse me, my friend. Can we ask you a quick question? Do you drink Guinness? Sorry? Do you drink Guinness? Yeah. Where's the nicest Guinness in Belfast? I don't know, I'm second time here. Second time? Yeah. Have you been drinking Guinness while you're here? I'm drinking always the, <laughs> in the other island. Where, where, where's the nicest Guinness you've had while you've been here? Worst? The nicest, not the best. The nice Guinness I always drink in Dublin. In Dublin? Oh. Yeah. No, well, I can't argue, can't argue. The Guinness does have the best. <laughs> Alright, thanks very much. See you later. Right. 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 Where is the nicest Guinness in Belfast? Bettles. Bettles? Bettles? 100%. Uh, uh, like Hercules has a nice paint. The Herc it does alright. Does alright though. What about uh so builds the best Guinness? Where's the best bar in Belfast in your opinion? Hercules. 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 So if you could take build Guinness and put it in a Herc. Well it's supposed to same like I think. Do you all know right. what I mean? Fair enough. But Hercules is alright, like for for what the, the display for paint and the rest of them, like three oh, right now. Is it cheaper? Is it cheaper now? Okay, that's why that's Tom. Hercules could do an hour, but a crap. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> So is Hercules on part of the, the Guinness tour? Hercules is gonna be part of it. Oh, after yeah, no, after their no, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me, could we ask you a quick question? Do you drink Guinness? No. Well, what bar? What's the best bar in Belfast? According to my wife, Ben Biddles. Biddles? Oh, That's two nil for Biddles, thank you. Biddles is flying, isn't it? Everyone's on Biddles. <laughs> So here we are folks at the second bar of the tour. So Cryer has brought us around, gave us a wee bit of history mm. from Biddles as we trekked through the city centre. Seems like there's a whole lot of shagging going on in this city. It also seems like no one drinks in the city anymore. If you know. see everyone, I'm trying to talk to the people. The people are like, oh, we don't drink. We like spas. <laughs> everyone wants to drink on the cover. I thought we were pro drinkers in the city. It doesn't seem to. It's, it's... suppose it is only ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I, don't know what I, want to talk I mean, with. if you if you saw battles, like you know, yeah, be 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 But here, listen, bar number two with no rules. Here we go. Split the G. Connor's up one. And got a tray. Ah, oh, bollocks. Fuck that up. Oh, uh, we're about even there, like. Me and you. I would say I'm better than you. Oh, Tommy's won it. I think Tommy's won it. No, he hasn't. He fucking he's at least touched the Hold G. Hold on. Who won this? He touched the G with the bottom, at least. We're about on the other side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is your other shade better? It just seems like bar. I don't know. Look at look at this. Who's the winner here? It's it's. Put on the comments. Cry, you're, you're no, the, you put on the comments. What do you what do you think? Look look the look the the look the, uh, look the Jeep. impartial. He's impartial. I'm last. Look, what do you think? Look. I've seen the middle one. Like yeah, that's me. Fuck off. Uh, yeah. Just a wee bit like. Yeah. You, I swear to God, I can rob the game. <laughs> Fucking joke. Okay, good good job, 1 1. Yes. You know, my mate. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, top, you, the top, it's top of the top crowd. <laughs> but I heard it's brilliant. Cream like rises. <laughs> Cream rises in the back. <laughs> Listen, what <coughs> Marlins, what's, the, what's the history of this sport? I know a couple of things. <coughs> it is home to Belfast iconic legend rap group. Kneecap, I've had a couple of mild nights in here with mm -hmm. myself. Sure, kneecap. DJ yeah, Provy, Mowgli, Bab, and Liam, Liam Oak. Oak. When he's ever going to come on the podcast, who knows? 
But anyway, who else drinks here, do you say? The great Eamon McGee. Yep. Mm-hmm. One boxing of Ireland's greats. Legend, boxing hero, maddest <clears> life <throat> in the world. If you haven't read his book, check out his book because it's fucking unbelievable. Yeah. But, uh... Also, Belfast's legendary film director, Pierce Elliott. Mm. This is a stamping ground. Is it, it's a, it's a stamping ground for a lot of celebs. Fastbender loved it. Did he? He was out with the uh, kneecap boys. Mm. Yeah. Right here, like, you know, pretty sound, like, sweet swell. So. Did you see him? No, no, they were just telling me when I was talking to him in the bar, like, and said Fastbender loved it. We, we, we were actually, uh... Yeah, <coughs> we, knocked, we knocked Fastbender, right? Yeah, we, which, oh, did you? which was in a movie, kneecap movie, uh. and, uh... We were, our our roads was with Fastbender. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a decent wee road we had. It was a good wee road. And, uh, but we just had a. What did we were. We were doing our we own, were doing our own solo thing. Show. And it was clashing with what we were doing. We were like, fuck, what did we kind of got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Tommy doesn't give a fuck. Nah, don't watch X Men then, though. Well, do you know what I know? He was an X Men then. Well, was no. it Magneto? I know. Is it Magneto? Yeah. His big role for me was uh, I guess Hunger. Last week. Oh, Hunger was Cracker. Right? Right, I was yeah. And obviously, I respect him <coughs> as an actor and he's a fucking big star. Mm-hmm. But, it's it's the Whiskey and Wade show. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the, yeah. Why did their own thing? Their own so, thing. So, I think we've done the right choice, but we we'll had to, we'll, we'll to build a podcast. Ah. Yeah. And we've done it. Um, if we'd done that film, I don't know if we have got something after, you know, we might have just been... We a bit part. A bit part now, actually. 100%. At least focus on ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, what is the history of this place? It's from mid-1700s, I believe, okay? Um, it used to be somebody's house again, all right, living around here. People are, people, <coughs> people are pimping around here. I know. And then it became, it became a bank for a good while, and then it became the bar. Uh, it's, it's changed ownership a couple of times over the past 100, 150 mm. years. This whole area, though, Cast Court obviously wasn't there. So you had this area completely linked to Smithfield, okay? Okay, yeah. and it used to be a huge flea Markets, market. Yeah, yeah it was just a big flea market outside. But it was <coughs> dodgy spot, like. Was so it? Was, yeah, so it was crime ridden and everything else. And you know that Chapel Lane, the stump side, yep. where the St Mary's is, it used to be called Crooked Lane. Mm. Now, Crooks. Now it could be because of that, or it could be All because right. it's at an angle. Okay. <laughs> <No> <laughs> one, <laughs> do you know what? We're gonna give us two. Tour group's going to be out of business after Law watches us. Hey, you, don't, you don't even need to go on the tour don't anymore. You, don't, you get all that don't listen to them. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty more. We're getting a very condensed, yeah. shortened tour. Yeah, this, is, this isn't even... Because what did we say? There was a full tour and a half tour. Yeah. So we're getting like a third tour. <laughs> so, if even. If even. so, listen. But the Guinness is great here too. Mm-hmm. I would get... The vibes here are great the, as well. They do a lot of uh, traditional music in here, don't they? They do, loads. What, every, every, days? every night. Is it every night? Every night they do something, yeah. So they, do. So, they may not open upstairs every night, I'm not sure on that one, but downstairs will be something on. Yeah. Well, and every it's Tuesday there's an open mic comedy. <coughs> mm-hmm. Have you done here? I have done one, here one night, and uh, it's brilliant. We brilliant audience. Well, brilliant do you do upstairs? Or do up anything? here, yeah. The, the comedy club's up here. It's quite small to be doing a comedy here. I know, but like... Internet. It's open mic, you know what I mean? So it's people <coughs> don't like just so getting started. Just go, huh? Yeah. Maybe I should turn up. Maybe you should. Wow. Would you do it? Stand up? Toronto cr- has all Did the jokes in stuff. Yeah. 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 Fair play, I shoot myself like nah, I chicken can. across the road. Yeah, I, could, I have, I do have all good, great stories, but <coughs> I'm not a good. Tommy's a great storyteller. Mm. Like he can tell stories and and not rush on anything yeah. and all that shit. I rush everything. Fucking so. It's ADHD. It is. So, yeah. so like I can't tell. So I just want to get it out and it's, it's like bubbles at me and I have to fucking uh. get it as fast <laughs> as I can. Skip past all the good parts and just get to the end. Right. So people don't know where they are. I do I, I, what I want. I want all my stories to give to Tommy and Tommy tell the stories because he'd be fucking yeah, brilliant. Well, give me, well, <laughs> I've got them anyway because I was there for them. <laughs> so you're good. You, you've, got, you've got two good heritages. you got the Irish one and the Jamaican yeah. one. Some good storytellers, you know. Yeah. So it's, He's got you know the what? Irish and Italian down the lane. Italian down the lane just shooting every cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Gunslingers. Do you ever see, uh, so do you, Jamaican is it heritage? Yeah, yeah. So do you ever see the, like, the Jamaican between uh, the Jamaican? The link between the, the languages, the link between languages, yeah, yeah, like the way we say words mm, and stuff, yeah. So it, hate, mate. Mm, when you th- say words yeah, like that, yeah. you can really it's turn up. Cousin Mauritius is it? Oh, what's it called? Oh, uh, the cork. They have a cork. I know what you mean. They're still talking a cork accent. <coughs> not Mauritius, and they still do like the, the, all the culture. They do dancing. Mon- Montserrat, Montserrat, yeah, Montserrat, and they the, talk like they're from cork. Yeah, and they do the dancing still. They do. Yeah. They still keep the Irish culture. 
over. But that's, yeah. that's because obviously people were sent into yeah, the servitude yeah, over yeah, there, yeah. and then any of the black slaves um, would have learned English together, yeah. and then gone, like in that way. So it's interesting, like a bit of link. Between it is it. interesting. Me and Tommy really <coughs> want to do a, a tour. So if anyone who buys them has the money to fly us <laughs> so out right there and do this kind of YouTube style documentary on Mauritius, yeah. be great. It's not Mauritius. <laughs> what was it? Matt's a rat. <laughs> You're going to raise it. I'm 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 going to There's a great tradition with a beef. The West End and the Irish culture. Not a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, here, how That's can funny. people get involved in your tours? <laughs> Um, so Maybe if you, plug it where we're here. Uh, 100%. If you, if you go on to Instagram and TikTok, it's on at Document Belfast. And at there's Document a wee Bell. link in the bio there, and you can send away a message and I'm, I'm get you booked in. Mm. I'm full time job, so it's as and when sort of I can, yeah. like on weekends and all that sort of jazz. Like, but yeah, it's good crack. crack. Your missus now go fucking mad. Well, you're working Monday to Friday, <coughs> and then you're out at the weekend drinking. So she's, not, drink? she's an accountant, so she's always yeah, drinking. She's always busy. She's always here, she's always really busy. She's always here, she's always really busy. Like, so, <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know it's right. No, she's very busy as well. So we're both very busy. Like, so we mm. both understand that you know. She's like, happy to get it, get it. Do you know what I mean? That's seen... extra money for holidays. You no, know. No, 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 no. <laughs> that Mauritius won't bad. I know, exactly. <laughs> See, um, in terms of Guinness, now why is there like such a difference in different bars? Like, why well, is some Guinness mm. have a nice, yeah, and some <clears throat> isn't so nice? Just you don't a, get that, but like. Paints a heart brand, it's just Pe- paints of paint. People comment on that all the time, like on my videos, and all is all the same everywhere, like but it's the treatment of it when it gets to it's the It's really not the same. Like Yeah. What what does make the difference? What what do you think the, as an actual The lines, uh the temperature, the kegs are actually kept at, you know, how far the actual line mm. is, how many pints are actually going through the the, the lines all the time. Because mm. if you get a bar that's maybe serving a handful of pints a day and they oh, don't clean their oh, lines, it sits in it. Why? You know? Why why what's it like <clears throat> If they only serve one pint of carp a day, mm-hmm. it won't taste that bad. Yeah. But if you serve one pint of Guinness a day, then it's... It's the ingredients, I think. You know, it's just serve different ingredients. It makes sense! That. So it's that's, a, an hour, that's a good question. Now. What is the ingredients of a Guinness? There's barley, there's malt, there's... I don't think the man so was fucking everything. Barley, <laughs> yeah. Barley, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The whole like, <laughs> obviously the, the, the toasted, you know, the toasted, that's 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 like was that by right? accident? I heard it by accident. Could be. They done a, they roasted the, the, they cooked the barley or whatever, the hops or whatever, for too long and they roasted it and then it became that and then they drank it and it was fucking great. Very well, could be. And I would like to know when they decided you can only pour it up to there yeah. and then you let it settle yeah. and then did, when, did, when did they say that? They poured it up there and go... Something wrong with is that a stout? Is that that's all stout? What is it? Or do they just pour just, other stouts the same? I think Guinness just like they have that you know, hundred and twenty mm. or was it hundred nineteen seconds mm. you have to wait between the thing and then top yeah. it up. But that's because of the dome. You want it to be dome. So is that room. only Guinness? Is that the rule? I think it's only Guinness. Yeah, yeah. That's a. I think it's yeah. It's American and thing like yeah, honestly, yeah. you know. But uh, I don't know. It, do, it does work. It does make a difference. Well, it does I, make a difference to the size. When I, I, well, I watched the other week Guinness, the factory talking about it, and they said. Because it takes so long to fucking circulate or something that it needs to, I don't know. Like, I mean, <laughs> okay, thanks. And for an explanation. No, if, if you just, <laughs> if you pull it up to the top, the dumb will be out size, yeah. no matter what. And 100%. You can't do it. I agree. It is. It's partial marketing because it's good because it's sitting there. 119 seconds. Very During accurate. COVID, yeah, I got a, a, a Guinness pump out. Yeah. And see, see, I don't realize the temperature is so, it has to be so precise because yeah. see if it's too cold. Mm-hmm. The 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 head only be tiny, they could be really tiny head, and it would be too warm as a big fucking head. There's one of the other reasons, temperature yeah. affects it. It's just a very temperamental drink. Like it really is. Really treat it like well. a, like a slate temperature, <clears throat> and a, I couldn't get a fucking head on. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Well, how did Guinness get like a fucking their hands on the neck of the stout industry? Like nobody is aware. I don't know of this guy. Stout. Well, no, I, I, I know he goes Guinness too. No, I've been. Well, well, turn. He has to know the history of it. Too, he has to know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you know when the nights are Guinness? I do. I I'm just saying the turn. It's a bit like yeah. Not no, bad. but that is an. I've always wondered like how does Guinness like the only stud that people know like mm. unless you're. It is true. Like yeah. a hardcore drinker. Drinker, do you know about the other studs? 
marketing. It's all just marketing. Like, is it their yeah. advertisements like are well known for yeah. or the token? They've just locked the it up. Surfing it's, man. It's, locked. Locked. it's never not going to be locked up. And that's them. They would have supplied like different things like armies and stuff like that. You know, with a wee bit of stout and like World War One really? and things like that. And Get, me like that. Get me in the army. Get me in the free well, states. They're, they're rum and their gender would have had a wee, wee thing against us as well. So they marketed thing it well. You know? Is there any <clears throat> truth that like Guinness is good for you? Like obviously we're when you can't be fucking bent to yeah. the Guinness. The iron levels it was it was like the iron levels there is iron in it, but I saw like a doctor I'm a fucking nerd. So on <laughs> YouTube I was watching a video about it like and this doctor said there's like a tiny there's a bit of iron like but it's not enough to That's all we need to like, That's all we need. there's <coughs> iron in it. Do you wanna know something else? Do you ever see your pint glass? Do you know what that means? No, nope, never. So the, always see it. So if know. you look at this, right, there's a wee two two and an M beside that, okay? Yeah, there it is. That's M twenty. That's the year the glass was made. Fuck so off. These are new yeah. glasses. So but they're happy new because the change. <coughs> see, that's what kills me about America. Oh, you got an older one? America don't 22. realize. 22. The way our paints are, the glasses, there's a reason for it. Yeah. Like, it's to circulate the fucking yeah. the glass and shit. Yeah, so it, it, it stays good. But, but yeah. they pour it in fucking normal glasses that kill them straight away and it fucking kills me. <laughs> it kills me. It actually kills me. Just have a, you have a paint glass for a reason? <laughs> That's and then, dead rabbits and then they call it a paint, uh-huh. and it's a fucking glass, it's a tumbler glass. Yep. Or fucking oh, this is a tulip one. Tulip. It's called a tulip but one. These come out. People like old Guinness glasses better. What's your old Guinness glasses? I forget what they are. I think they have a dent, a dent in the side on them. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The glasses with the, yeah. the harp and stuff on them. Yeah. Yeah. They change them every every so often, but John I, I like old schools. Do you want a Guinness fact? Yeah. I want all the facts. Do you see the, see the harp on it? Guinness mm. have trademarked the way that turns around okay so the guinness harp has to be always that way around if you look at the irish passport the harp is the other yeah, way yeah, around because they have the trademark of that that's around. metal so how can you trademark they have trademark against the irish state how <laughs> can harp? you trademark a harp they did that in like the 1800s that's fucking in- do you know what my see mr genius? guinness yeah arthur guinness mm-hmm. he's a fucking genius he bought that land for what 500 shillings or something so sorry Couple of thousand or something, maybe. It was something yeah. they got for a thousand years. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's still getting. Is you, he have still- to, you have to look at that time. It was 500 or 1,000 shillings. Big dough back in. Aye, but, but for a thousand year lease. See right now. Nine, they're laughing. 9,000. 9,000. Nine <laughs> they're laughing. They have the biggest place in the dearest city in the world. Uh, in the city centre. Yeah. Actually, be worth S- a fortune. It would be great if Arthur was your. Great, 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 great uncle. I know. Mm. He'd be living off fat of the land. Condors. He had some They're controversial relatives. Did he? Really? Uh, Did he give us... Some, some of the ones, like, it was said, okay, now this is maybe here, so I don't know, but um, in the early like years, sort of 1800s, like, they maybe would have found funded, like, loyalist paramilitary groups. So really? Yeah, I, believe I heard that. Like I actually did hear it. Yeah. So Guinness UVF was funding the UVF? Not Guinness. No. Oh. Out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but uh, they get Guinness. One of the funding? Guinness relatives yeah. was uh, funding. funding yeah. uh, well, listen, we we'll like finished their paint. The oh, it away. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, bro. <laughs> 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 like you. Cut. <laughs> or like you. Haven't finished. Slow right. coach. Just savor it. Let's savor it. But uh, we'll get the next bar. Yeah. What's the next bar again? Callies. Callies. Right. Right. Well, that, that, that was a long walk. Uh, good, because it's fucking pissing down. Typical. Belfast weather, so don't let the sun shine fully from the window. Satire. 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 <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hey, let's go. Next bar. Are you okay, fucking no. kidding me? Are you kidding me? For Kelly's? Do you have a Kool-Aid guy? Yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! I'm really just chilling, okay? Just Something chilling. funny, Tommy? <laughs> Red, folks, here we are at bar number three. We've finished our intimate Guinness tour with the fabulous Crowder. A.K.A. Connor, A.K.A. Conch, <laughs> and uh, we're here at Cali Sellers. We're up a stove. <coughs> Many people don't even realize that there is yeah. an up a stairs. This is the in first, first time I've ever been upstairs, and I am shocked at how good it is. Like it's lethal. It's class. This needs to be open regularly. Yeah. 
Um, those would be open right away? I don't know, but I haven't seen it before. Okay, what for? Shouldn't a music video? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> so I was, um, Cub McCullough made a song to raise awareness for Suicide yeah. and, su- and raise money for Suicide yeah. prote- oh, so for get, medicine. Get on that. And, um, yeah. you know, I sang a couple of bars on it, so I had to come down and. I haven't even heard it yet. Yeah. I don't think I have. Is it it? It is. Is it it? Is it it? Is you? Is you? Is you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Get all in the house. Is it it? Because <laughs> you, you don't fucking tell me. When was it out? I want to hear is it, is what it, you said. It was in 2008, I think. <laughs> 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 so the end of last year. Last year, all but right. it was good. Right. But um, anywho, here we are. Round three. And we're gonna split the zero. So end, it's I, one one. I had to claw back a bit of dignity, a bit of pride. I'm a Guinness man. I'm a, I'm a drinker. Sure, buddy. I'm sure, an, buddy. I'm an awesome man. Right. Here we and go. Oh, whoa. See if I win. Uh huh. It is. It'll be a it's miracle. A draw. It's a draw. <laughs> and uh, what we'll, we'll, do, we'll see who downs the quickest for the for the for the win. That's the. Well, let's go challenge. for the let's go. Go. Red for Slancer. The, Slancer. There we go. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> what's that? What's that? I won! Uh, uh, oh, it's one one. Let it's a draw. Uh, what the fuck is that? Is that let's pull out the camera. Wait, I put the camera. So that one's mine, by the way. Oh, this one's yours. Yeah. I think it looks even, Stephen. Doesn't? Mm, he made one. You're lower. <laughs> Do you know what? Well, from my it's angle, it's weird, isn't it? is that just the print? I don't know. So <laughs> that's weird, isn't it? yours is like it's the same distance from the top to uh, the bottom. Yeah. Do you know what, lads? I'm Tyrone. That's my job. Oh! That's, my, that's mine. Oh, oh, Tyrone. Let's go, in, right, lads, for the for the win. Here we go. This is what I wanted. I'm gonna. He has he not done Because I can't. I'm not. He can't down. Down. He, can't, he actually can't. He said he his specialty is guzzling drinks. He turns him. He turns him like. <laughs> he swallows like he's from Aberclough. Whoa! Yes, man. Yes, man. Look at his ears. You're gonna, gonna, ta- you gonna stop said, talking here, like this? I'm going. I'm joining. Are you done too? Yeah. Yes, Tommy. There's gonna Come be on. a lot of surprise people here tonight. <laughs> not you're not winning. Uh, here we go. Slancer, boys. Slancer. You won. That's a brazo because I'm really quick. Woo! Look at Tommy! Look at Tommy! Oh, oh Jesus Christ, that was good. That's so weird. Oh, I just heard him whack, whack, and I'm going to the point. I'm about to bow out, John. <laughs> you you going to drink all that? <laughs> I'm going to do it, let's go. Look at that, look at that. Look at a stick on them fucking hands. That's great, like, that was good. Here. That was good. <laughs> They are too shaky. They're in clock as well. well so no, in about that's... two minutes, this is going to hit us. <laughs> <laughs> we slur in the Let's cup. get this. <laughs> do you know what? I slur I'm like, I'd say about two pence, three pence. I do slur. Oh, slur. my God. Oh, was I here? Impressive. Okay. Impressive from you. I was in, I was away with mates on a holiday, and we were in this place in Krakow, and this guy challenged me to a, a dining competition. And this was when I was, like, fucking 21 or something mm. like that. Peak, and peak they, they stop watch it, stop watch it, and it was 1.8 seconds that they find them. Oh, that was that was that is impressive. Time, like, impressive times. Can't do any more. Like, who's seen bold? No, who's seen who's oh. seen bold? Oh, fuck, them paints. Who's seen bold? Who's seen what's what is this? What's his name? This is the best that's friend it, there in that's Afghanistan. It, that's it. He has been to say the Egyptian version. Go ahead, he's saying. Who's saying? Who's saying? Who's saying our bolt? This guy. Anywho, we're at Kelly's house. Oh, Jesus. Where Tyrone thought was the oldest building mm. in the city. It's quite a crack them. It's the oldest bar in the city. Yep. Tell us about the history. Um, so it's been going since uh, 1720. Um, mm. There was a man called Hugh Kelly opened it. Um, opened it as bars. It's been bars since day dot. Mm. Um, a lot of history 
on it. Uh, there was this whole area. So it was never a brothel. It was never that's a brothel. That's, a that's weird. Shocker. Isn't it? Like, I know. Shocker. Like, everywhere, all the spars and all were brothel. No, no, no. Um, so around around here, like around this area, especially, it was like there was about 30, 40, 50 different families just live around here. Mm. Okay, so the bar is very, very historical. Um, in fact, when you go on the left hand side doors into the left hand side, they even used that wee spot there for wakes in the community. Oh, okay, right. so everybody used to have the Everyone wakes. Everyone loves a good wake. Mm, mm. 100%. We, we session on it. That's all it is. Up here where we are, used to be called the Tudor Lounge, which was actually the first ever cocktail bar in Belfast too, in the 1950s. Okay. The Tudor Lounge? The Tudor Lounge, T-U-D. And that doesn't mean cocktails. Excuse me, there's something, like the Tudors, what is that? Uh, Henry VIII and all, like, yeah. and all those ones. Like. Why do we learn so much about the Tudors? Like, everyone knows about Tudors. I, I have never in my life needed that. Because there were... Brady yeah. Sam <laughs> Like, I honestly, I don't know much about the Tudor. I used to have books on Did you watch the show? I used to watch the show. I had I, I got a magazine and all, all of that. I was on the Tudors? I was heavy on the Tudors. Tudor Weekly? What the fuck? Her own Tudor. I pulled it up in this room. I have a subscription. <laughs> every, every, everybody else in their, like, 15 had, like, Nuts magazine. He had Tudor Weekly <laughs> I used to do it used to do big scratch and sniff shit. What? I don't know, it was so weird. It was, it was a weird magazine. I don't know what's going on. It sounds like tuna to me. <laughs> what does it smell like? I don't know. What I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. This is a shock and revelation. <laughs> like, a moment ago, I said, I know all terms of my stories. This is the first I've ever heard he's sniffing Tudor Max. Tudor Weekly Magazine. <laughs> oh my god. Can't hear the beast. Imagine being Toro's parent walking into his room, sitting there with a fucking Tudor Max. <laughs> what are you looking at, Toro? Oh, nothing, money. Elizabeth the First. <laughs> Sniffing a body of a beast. Sniffing a ladder of a beast. My stomach. My stomach can't take it. I can't even a boat. I can't even a boat. I can't even take a boat. I can't even take a boat. So anyway, the history. It's shit for now. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It is a good spot, though, in here. It is a good spot. I don't, know, I don't know how to segue now. You like, can't segue you know? us. <laughs> We're cheater for now. Oh my god. But, <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, so oh, bit of history. Bit of history. So it's 1720. And then the McHugh's <laughs> is 1711. For the right. <laughs> See then, the bar? Right? Yeah. So obviously this is another bar in Belfast City Centre that is you know, heavy on the Guinness Court. Right, get a Guinness and Cow. Mm. Yeah. Has it always mm. been that way from Rome? I think it is because like well I mean it was a different drink back then Like, so, mm. so Guinness hadn't been invented when this opened like it was mm. 17 yeah. like, Guinness was like 1759 or something like that yeah <laughs> shout out <laughs> um, so it would have been porter a lot of the time back exactly. then you know? what's porter? porter's a different sort of version of stout so, it's, so it's stout was very similar like, it's a bit stout more, was already invented before Guinness? Uh, yeah so stout was I made up a full lab but the rules of bags and that's like they the did popularise it though like you okay. know, Guinness popularised it more like, oh know, but, right. but obviously the, the roasting thing is for their own brand mm. but like I'm a liar <laughs> I'm like Christopher Walken there is he a liar <laughs> He's full of antenna. <laughs> He's all over him. But I always tell people, like, downstairs, especially, like, obviously, a very, very historic bit was, was linked to the United Irishman. Mm. Um, so, 1798 Rebellion. Obviously, Henry John McCrack and Wolf Tone and all. Mm-hmm. And they used to um, have their secret meetings downstairs. Oh, really? Yeah. And then, so when they were planning the rebellion. They weren't very secret then, if you know about it. Well, they were executed, so they weren't that secret. <laughs> they were, like, you know, but they, um, <clears throat> so when the Redcoats English were walking around, like, with their soldiers um, around the corner, they used to actually apparently have a secret uh, sort of slot behind the bar mm. that they could hide in and then close it over when the Redcoats were coming yeah. and looking for them. So yeah. there's a lot there of history in this bar, like, it's good. I like it. Oh, I like yeah. it. Yeah. The Redcoats, the uh, Redcoats, everyone's um, coming around from the Odyssey. Odyssey, yeah. Right. Hey, right. hey, 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 we could have done movie. I despise the Redcoats and Odyssey. They're like, <laughs> like my most, I hate them. Yeah, I hate them all. It must have been Red Party par- goes wanker. Party par- goes to their head. It goes crazy. They, we went, as you would have seen, uh, and played bowling against each other in the Odyssey. Mm-hmm. This is only like last week. Yeah. 
We had Coach try to fucking put a Cut stop to it. Now. They're like, ah, oh, you can't, you can't no, film in here. Film you can film inside the bottom piece, but not in the Odyssey. It's like, the red coats are coming. The red coats are coming. Yeah. Where's that? <laughs> Henry John McCracken. <laughs> <Boston. laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Kelly's, as you say, it's an iconic bar because of the I would history al- and stuff. I would always say, if someone's coming to Belfast and said where to go, mm-hmm. I would say Duke. My missus works in the <laughs> Shout out. Yeah, Shout but out Duke is probably my favourite bar in Belfast, to be honest. Hey, by fricks, yeah. Not, not even because of that. Oh, just, Bells. No, Bells. Hello. Let's get it. Let's get it. Different things. Different things. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Duke York is the best bar <laughs> in Belfast. Uh, I love the vibes in there. I love the, the work. Obviously, I know all the staff as well, so they're all sound. And then the good live music. Yeah. Then Fiddles is the best for Guinness. But it doesn't have live music. That's what it lacks is live music. Although when the sun's on, Oshin and Kieran, they're playing bangers every time. But anyway, John, you just need to update your own playlist and get get with your sons. One one time get a, John's a lot of years ago, <laughs> Tyrone and I were here having the paint, and none other than Peter Dinklage. That's right. That's ready to sit on the table. And he he come in, trying to try and stay under the radar. He, he had his hood up. Hey, John, <laughs> what was, was your dick? It was ridiculous. He was trying to stay <laughs> under the radar, sitting in the bar with your hood up. Uh, and you know the. I know. Hello, like we could see you, man. <laughs> and he sat there for ages, and um, he wasn't happy when you asked. Apparently, it was notorious. The like. Not friendly. Peter so I was go- apparently, uh, and me and Tom said, oh, fuck, that's your mom. That's- nah, I wouldn't say that. Like, okay, no. well, it was me saying it. And you then were buzzing. We were, we were like, should we talk to him? We knew, well, we didn't know because he could be an ace guy. So I look forward to Peter coming along and giving his version of events. <laughs> but we didn't approach him because we'd heard that he hates people talking to him. And obviously, he was in for a quiet paint. Yeah. You no, know, 10 o'clock in the morning. Hmm. Hood up <laughs> a couple of Guinness, but then when we were leaving, I went, Pete, yeah, <laughs> just like, let me <laughs> do you know what do you call her? Uh, I didn't watch what's it called Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. I didn't watch Game of Thrones, but the the, <coughs> the garden, the princess, Sansa, the woman, or, uh, the uh, dragon oh, queen, woman. Daenerys, uh, Targaryen. her favorite bar in the world <coughs> is Spaniard. Is it? Mm, she loves Spanish. Emily, loves Emily something. Emily something. She's Emily, English, Emily. Right? But anyway, how many people of this can you name? Can you name? On the back? Because there's a big mural on the back here. Like. Yeah. I'll tell you right now. <coughs> I Couple. know. Well, you know all these is behind you, like. All right, we'll start from she murder. Start from like, Sinead, like. I'm not going to do them. You do one. Uh, Why are you not doing them? Because I don't know. I Honestly, don't know. I don't know. Don't know? John Bill. Who's <laughs> <laughs> that? With Churchill. That's a good choice. Is it? Yes, we'll go with I'm doing this, I don't know who they are. Kate's. Sinead O'Connor. She, she looks very grumpy, or doesn't Come she? On. They could have done a laser pick. <coughs> we know him. Tommy. Uh, Tommy McCarver. No, Tommy. <laughs> um, Tommy. Tommy, you know who he is. I don't know. Ben Lizzie. Front one, obviously. The girl from Bally Kiss Angel. Is it? I thought that was her to the core. That's her, isn't it? Oh, it's Andrea Core. I thought is it was the girl from Bally Kiss Angel. <laughs> Bally Kiss <laughs> Angel. <laughs> <laughs> well. Who's that? Irish writer as well. Can't remember his name, so is he. Yeah, Bully. Seamus Heaney. Yeah, well, no, Heaney. <coughs> Heaney's a fucking. Lad. He looks Italian. <laughs> this is really bad. Like, I, I should it, it is bad when you don't but know who that is. Yeah, that's Luke Kelly. Kelly. Like, He's a legend. <coughs> I want to yeah. be like Luke uh, Kelly. Robbie D. Robbie D. Ronnie Drew, huh? Who's that? Um, no idea. And then Robin Hood at the very end. Brandon Bain and who? Robin Hood. Robin Hood? Yeah. Robin Hood? It's Robin. Oscar Wilde. Nobody <laughs> 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 Who's that in the back? I don't know. Custody suit? Oh, listen. <coughs> if you know the other people, put it in the comments. Yeah, put it in the comments. <laughs> I, like, I like Tom Stane. I, I, I know everyone, so I'm not going to get involved. I don't know anyone. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> but listen, thank you for joining us. What a great day. Connor, showing us, showing us around Belfast, all the brothels. 
If you need brothels when you come to Belfast, <laughs> well, how's your mom? Help Belfast brothels her. His wife will be going. Belfast brothels her. Twenty twenty five. Thank you, Robert. But, no. Listen, no, Crower, thanks uh, very much. Um, uh, I'll, I'll say right now, didn't have a bottle of Guinness. No, I all didn't have Guinness a bottle of Guinness. Was great. All great. All ten out of ten yeah, Guinness. Hundred percent. Bars ten out of ten. Public, you could be a bit better and being drinkers. <laughs> to be honest, like I was. Three or four people, like three or four people, drinkers. born drinkers. Yeah, but it was, and we have to stress, <coughs> it is early doors. Most people are in the town, <coughs> probably getting stuff for breakfast. Some guy thought you were out for the Guinness. Some Asian guy panicked. I'm you okay. Want to hey, I'm hey, okay. Do you think Guinness? No, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. No, 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 drink Guinness. And he started running away. Coming, chasing up after him. Do you think Guinness? Where was, it? Where was he from? He's from <laughs> Belfast accent. Sorry, he doesn't have an accent. People can be Asian with Belfast accents. Fuck's no. sake. Thought you did an Indian accent. Fuck's sake. Well, India is in Asian. <laughs> but oh these guys God. are lit like a Christmas tree of their darling. I'm okay. Uh, okay. She okay. are from. Tommy, Tommy. She are from. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for. Well, lads and ladies. What is coming up very, very soon is round three yeah. of the Mini Olympics. The mini Olympics. And, and we're playing chess. Yep. Shout out to the camera right now. Look, he's running the... When is event. it? Is it next week? It is this week. Is it next week? What? 23rd. 23rd. Is that next week? No. 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 <laughs> no. It's in two weeks. No. But listen, we're going to be here. We're going to be battling for Tack Mike baby. and I'll tell you right now I've never and Tommy confirm it never lost a yeah, game of true. chess it is true. with Tommy ever, and we've, we've been playing ever, for years years you ever, played chess? I well, love chess yeah. I used to think I was good but <laughs> I think I am good because I've been a lot of people shot, but Tyrone's good at it yeah. he's going to win next week I know for a fact I'm going to get beat to the even camera <laughs> see when the camera comes up I just crumble I crumble but anyway you did Look, today with the paint then, I know. <laughs> Fuck, I haven't got a win on this show. <laughs> but anyway, join us next week where the boy Luke is going to be running a, a chess. What's it called again? What the checkmate. What the checkmate, what a great What the checkmate. What a great <laughs> game. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're going to be doing that head to head. Who's going to win? We do not know. We will see. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.